Thanks for being here. Um, you know, Amazon, you've been steadfast on the network, on this show. Um, it sounds like you yep. never sell. It's the one that you own for the kids forever. The stock's up 30% on the year. It's up 50% from its March lows. What do you think investors just figured out, other than the obvious, and do you think that there's a chance that after we reopen the economy, um, a lot of consumers want to buy local, they want to support their local stores and, and, and their neighbors who are working in their stores, that sort of thing, and do you think the stock kind of finds no. a new level lower? No, I, I think it goes up, 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 up. I think it's the exact opposite. People who weren't comfortable dealing with Amazon for for consumables, for food, um, for produce even. I think they've gotten into that habit now. And look, Amazon can't even keep up with their deliveries. I don't think that's going to slow down at all. And I think the greatest fear factor is going to be going back, not necessarily to the grocery stores. I, I literally am just leaving our local grocery store, but to the small to medium-sized businesses because they don't know what protocols are in place to keep them as consumers safe. And so I think Amazon just takes off. And, you know, I read some stuff where they're looking at doing testing of can you imagine if they provided free testing, just delivering to all their prime or just all their consumers? There's just there's just so many touch points that they have that are positive that, I mean, I think, you know, it's only going to get – that stock's only going to go up. I mean, I can't – I'm not going to predict when, how, or where, but it's going up. More broadly, Mark, uh, when it comes to the stock market, are you finding any values out there? I did. Originally, I bought some Live Nation, and I'm about break even. Now, actually, I'm a little bit up on it. I still have my Netflix. That I've turned out to be really lucky there. Um, and then beyond that, I, I'm just waiting. I'm just not as confident as everybody else that this market has found a base. I, I think we can go a little bit lower, and, you know, I'll be waiting. And the other side of it is I think in the private markets there's going to be even more bargains. And so while the public markets, you know, because of the Fed, there might be some a Fed put there that, that protects everybody. The private markets, I think, are going to be a mess, and, and I'm also, you know, trying to keep some cash there for that. Private markets, meaning private equity, VC, pipes, what sort of private um, market me, no, Well, some of those things, yeah, but just smaller businesses, medium-sized businesses, mm. you know, even large private companies that are looking for alternative funding, real estate, um, REITs, you know, private REITs. There's just so many different things that um, I think are going to be cash short. And if the liquidity doesn't flow the way the Fed expects it to, there'll be a lot of deleveraging. You mentioned REITs. Are you concerned about the real estate market? And, and what area of the REIT market are you looking at? Commercial, retail, yeah, just, storage? I'm just look, I'm, I'm just look, I'm trying to get a feel for what America 2.0 is going to look like. That's the uncertainty. The only thing I know for certain is that we don't go back to business as usual. You know, I think, you know, our large companies, if they bring back 70 percent of their employees, I'd be thrilled to death. Um, medium sized the same way they're introducing new technology i just there's so many variables that i just i don't want to rush into anything you know there's a lot of speculation into warehouse reads you know um, refrigerated warehouses and there's just so many um industry specific things that i want to take a look at but i, I want to get a sense for what happens on the other side first